Hello and welcome to this video where we see a lookup formula that is not finding a match in a list even though it does exist. And this problem is caused by the way that Excel calculates numbers. So what we have here on screen, you can see in cell D3 an X lookup function. And this could happily be a match function or a V lookup or any of its kind. It's looking for the value in cell B3, 3.5%, down the range of B5 to B18, and we can see it in row 11 there, returning from column C, so we're expecting the letter G, but I'm getting the hash and A error. So why is this? There's clearly a match in that list. Now, as I say, this is caused by the way that Excel calculates numbers. Now, I won't be diving into the specifics here, but the accuracy that Excel calculates floating point numbers is up to 15 decimal places. So it's always that little bit out. Now, that is rarely a problem, and that statement depends on what you're doing in Excel, but here we are getting a problem. Now, to investigate this a bit more closely, if I click on cell B3, the lookup value, and I'll open it up in Power Query. So if I click Data, From Table slash Range, it's going to ask me to put this into a table. I'll just click OK. Here we are. And if I click on the 0 0.035, our 3.5% there, at the bottom of the screen, you can see that it's not actually 3.5%. It's slightly under that. And that is the problem. That is why we're not getting an exact match. So I'm going to close down Power Query and let's deal with the problem. So Power Query is closed and I've undone the table that Excel forced it into. And the main way of handling this problem is to remove the accuracy. Use the round function to round it to a specified decimal place and everything will be okay. So coming into the formula in cell B3 here, just before B2, I will put in a round function and I'll ask it to round that calculation to three decimal places. So remember this is 0.035, this result. I'll close that off and press enter and the X lookup in D3 successfully returns the letter G. So that is the ultimate answer is to use that round function and limit the accuracy of that number. Now, why was that calculation a little bit out? Well, if I undo that for a moment and come into the cell above, so the cell above B2 is used in the calculation of cell B3, and it's one subtracted by the value in B1. So one take away 0.93, hopefully producing uh, 0.07. But as we see, this is the beginning of the problems here. If cell B2 was typed into that cell, if I type 7 and press Enter, the calculation works. It's all because of the calculation there that is then having a domino effect and preventing the lookup formula from getting an exact match. So that's another possible solution, but maybe not a goer. The final thing I'd like to mention in this video is an option that's available in Excel. If I click on File and Options, and if I move to the Advanced category and scroll quite far down this list, there is a setting to set precision as displayed. Now this is local to this workbook. You can see the option just above for that. And if I check the box to set precision as displayed, I will get a prompt from Excel saying that I will lose the accuracy of these values. So that's something that you should be aware of when using this and the round function appears to be more encouraged. But in this example, maybe this is fine. Maybe I can use the values as they are, maybe to a couple of decimal places or so, and you don't need that level of accuracy. And you can see now, once again, XLOOKUP returning the value in cell D3. 
So three possible workarounds there for a lookup formula, no match problem. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive the latest tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.